Hello my friends, I'm Patrick Kasoka. Welcome to my art corner. Today I'm going to feature our first guest artist in my first series uh, of the show. Yes, and this is exciting because we're going to have a presentation of unique, a unique media of art that we're going to showcase in our interview. So you guys stay tuned. Welcome back. Um, thank you for having us. So I'm ready to introduce my guest artist. Yes, and my guest artist is uh, Shadrach Shimba. Shadrach, welcome to our show. Thank you very much, Mr. Kasuka. You're welcome. Yes, Shadrach, tell us, where are you based? I'm based in Kalush district on the Copper Belt. Oh, wonderful. Shadrach, we've got so much interesting works that you have brought with us here, and uh, I'd really like you to show us and explain a few things about them. Yeah, and uh, before that, Shadrick, I'd uh, like to know, when did you start uh, creating? When did you start uh, creating, becoming an, a, a, an artist? Because I want to know about that. Uh, the artistic work started way back when I was young. You know, back in our days when we were growing up, uh, we would have fun making stuff out of words. Mm -hmm. That's where the inspiration started coming from. But the greatest motivation came from the fact that Dad would no longer buy me toys because I would spoil the toys a lot. Wow. Yeah, so I began to think to myself, if he's no longer going to buy me toys, how am I going to keep myself entertained? Okay. So I began to think, wire up, wire up ideas and... There were wires everywhere, so I started to make stuff out of wires, wire cars, wire figures, throw them around. They wouldn't break. That was the motivation. Because wow. things made out of metal last long. This is where the motivation steered up from. Wow, so interesting. I guess parents you should take this take note of this. Imagine his uh, his dad when he was young, couldn't <laughs> he, he got tired in buying him uh, plastic toys and he broke them. But he himself came up with an idea of saying, okay, I'll just, I think I'll work with the wire, and the wire would last long. Wow, so interesting. And uh, so, Chandra, what work did you start with, uh, like, in serious work that you started with? Uh, like I said, I started with workers, mm -hmm. but back then they were not very advanced. Okay. I never stopped working with wires. Oh. As I grew up, I thought of ways of trying to make them advanced. And okay. the, the the first advanced artwork that I made is an action figure here. Okay. Yeah. Let's see about this work, the action figure. So wow, this is uh, very uh, looks quite complicated. You know that so much work has been done in, in this one. Though it, uh, wow. So then, tell us about it. Well, you can tell this is a male action figure. It doesn't have a name. But when you look it from the side here, it mm -hmm. looks like Wolverine. Oh, yeah. so he's, he's Wolverine, Wolverine from, the inspired, from the X-Men. So inspired you when you when you are actually designing it. But again, if you look at it from the front, it looks like the face of Bumblebee from the Transformer. From the Transformer. Wow. <laughs> In fact, I almost said that uh, this it's reminds a, me of the Transformer. You know? Yeah, it's yeah. a mixture of ideas. Uh -huh. The thing is to create wow. more ideas out of the simple ideas you have. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, now I can see the chase, the shape itself, uh, it the transformer, you know, uh, my, it comes to my mind that, wow, well, I've seen this on the transformers, wow, this is great artistic work. Yeah, so you can tell that this is a male action figure from the body parts, the chest here, mm -hmm. the six pack, uh -huh. well, the, the hands, of course, you can see he's a muscle man and everything there. Yeah, 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 so quite interesting, you know, so this is very detailed as well and the, 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 the wires themselves the way they have been made so good so which other work that you did show us some something as well something more then the later work that I did was this female one wanted wow. to make something new and I wanted to make another male figure I wanted to make something different okay you can tell you can tell that this is female because you can see the boobs here, you can see the booty, and you know, 
entership of the feet. The entership is a wow. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, yeah, you know, there's a booty here. You know, it's, it's flexible. And even when she can walk, you know, like this, that's really interesting. And you see this, she, she can also it. twig. She can also twig. Wow. <laughs> you guys, look at look at this statistic. This is genius, genius work here. Yeah. So, wow, this works look so good. So, are you telling me that uh, these serious works that you started with were the first? Yeah, this was the first. Okay. I made this in 2015. Wow, wow, wow. I stopped the work for a while. Uh-huh. Then, after three years, mm-hmm. I came back to, to the roots. Okay. I wanted to see what I can do out of the talent I have. Wow. So, I went on to make this. Okay. Yeah, this looks good. Uh, you know, you can tell that you really took your time and you know to shape them up. So I, w- I really wish I could see when you are doing it. And which from these weights, what next? Uh, from here, mm-hmm. like I said, I, uh, when whenever I'm doing my work, I always want to do something new, something different. Mm-hmm. I'm like curious about everything that I do. Mm-hmm. So the curiosity me keeps on advancing me uh-huh. to greater heights of the work itself. Okay. So from here, yes, I wanted to work on sculptures. Okay. So the first sculpture that I worked on yes. is this one. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow, this is more, this is nice. Okay. I can see the, you know the way the the wires have been tied up here, the, the movement itself. Wow. It's shaping very well. well. Okay, this is good artistry. And you, you're so passionate about your work. Just the yeah. way it is coming out. Okay, so this was the first thing? This was this the one? first sculpture. Mm-hmm. The inspir- I got the inspiration of making the sculpture from the fig of Mandela. But unfortunately, mm-hmm. I wouldn't get it. I couldn't get it to look like Madiba himself. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. But the failure never stopped me. The failure steered up something in me to try to do better than what I already had here. But this doesn't look much of a failure because you can see the shape itself. Yeah, you can the, see. Ma, ma, you can relate it to Madiba himself. Wow, I wish you would. You can see the figure. You but see this, you know. This my aim was to make a closed figure, uh-huh. not an open figure like this one. Okay. Something complex, something that would interest the eyes of the people. Wow. Yeah. So from here, I began to think of a way in which I would advance the week. By the way, this work was done in 2018 as well. 2018. Just after making this action figure, the went on to make this. So this is now in 2018. Yeah, 2018. Yeah. Then, two years later, mm-hmm. we've got an advanced work, which uh-huh. is this. Wow. At least now the, sh- the, the work was shaping up and different yeah. techniques were coming up now. At least this this work is more visible than this one. Than this you can one. Tell. Okay. You can tell... This one doesn't have eyebrows. Have eyebrows, but this one now came to have eyebrows. Eyebrows, okay. the eyes are a bit detailed, you detailed. can see. Okay. The nose, the other mouth and everything. Wow, this is what this is wonderful. And uh, you could see even the the, the, the way the, the ears are shaped, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so much attention was put into it. So it's beautiful, it looks nice. You know, just admiring the finished work itself. Okay, so this was made in 2012, 2020. Yeah, 2020. From 2018 yeah. to 2020. So this is the second stage of the, the sculpture artwork. Okay. Wow, that's beautiful. And this this isn't the only work that was made. Mm-hmm. This is this is just... Uh, the second stage. The second stage. I okay. made a couple of works that uh-huh. resemble... The, this, the, 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 the sculpture. The, yeah. it's, um, the, the skull of the head, human head. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so do we have some more? Yeah, we do have some more. Yeah, from twenty from twenty twenty. Which year now? <laughs> the same year, twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty two now. Yeah. Oh, from twenty twenty now. This year, twenty twenty two. Yeah, I had to gather up ideas. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I said earlier, mm-hmm. my 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 aim was to make something that is solid, complete. Okay. Something that is easily visible, okay. more detailed, okay. complex. Oh, wow. Interesting to the eyes of the people. Wow, that's that's, that's so. From there, we've got an artwork which I made this same in February. Okay, um, I'm itching to see it. 
you shouldn't be eating turkey. <laughs> yeah, you see, wow, you see now what an advanced one and something different. You know, it keeps, uh, you know, it comes with the surprises. It's uh, different from taking it towards the camera so yeah, that the audience can see. Yeah, this is good. At least you should look at this mastery. This one is more detailed work. now. Yeah. Like you can see the hair. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. I did the work on the hair. The, the eyebrows, the eyes here, the nose. You can tell the butter and the flower. Everything is it looks, visible now. It looks so advanced, you know. That this is this is crafted so well. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. This is wonderful. The world needs to see this. And the design, hey, sculptors, designers, please take note of this. This work is so beautiful. Oh, and by the way, uh, I got the, the inspiration of making this from this sculpture from from our president, President Akinichi. Ha! You know, I almost said that's <laughs> why I took the the, the design. Oh, of the hair yeah, 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 yeah. I almost say that the shape, the way, the shape of the hair, the hair, the hairline. Where it is, you know, it's, it's divided here where it starts. I almost say this looks almost like our president. He was trying to make our, our excellency HH. I would say Australian. Yes, HH7. By the <laughs> 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 Again. <laughs> ah, but, okay. We usually say, not that you the know, they artists say so, but I could tell. This. But from here you can tell that yeah. the work has advanced. Wow, wow, wow. This is beautiful. Most of it is now visible. Compared to these two, wow! HH seven, <laughs> our president, your excellence. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go to the next one. Uh, and then from here, mm-hmm. the next one that was made was made in April this year. Yeah, because I quite took okay, The work was advanced, but I wasn't satisfied with the artwork. Okay, so that's when you came up with another one. Yeah. So in trying to think of a way of closing it. Mm-hmm. I came up with the one that I'm about to show. And mm-hmm. the inspiration came from the way I made the bow tie. Okay. Looking at the bow tie, mm-hmm. the wires were squeezed a bit okay. more tight. Okay. And because the wires are tightened here, mm-hmm. it makes the work more visible. Wow. So uh, I use this same strategy mm-hmm. on the work that I'm about to show. Okay. That makes it more visible. Okay. More more okay. complicated, I don't know. Wow. More complex. Yeah, this is complex yeah. and complicated. Look at it. This is nice. This is beautiful. Wow. Okay. So these works are so, so, so nice and detailed. And I'm really loving them. And uh, people need to see this. And this, people need to get in touch with you so that they can get some uh, commissions. So, coming from the sculptures, I uh, want to see the jewelry now. The jewelry looks so jewelry. nice and it's uh, sparkling. And it's very, very uh, uh, creative. Cre- the creativity itself from the jewelry is, is sparkling and interesting. So, so, can you talk about one of them here? At least, what, what you can tell us about your inspiration and what all about the inspiration again, mm-hmm. curiosity. Okay, I was curious about doing something with wires. Okay, so I thought to myself, What can I do? I'm already working on figures, mm-hmm. I'm already working on cars. Mm-hmm. Fortunately, the cars are sold out, that's uh-huh. why they're not presented here. Okay, I thought of why not work on joy. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, like, I want you to talk about this one. This is very interesting. What, what what's your inspiration behind the inspiration of mm-hmm. this craft here mm-hmm. comes from the Egyptian mythology mm-hmm. this is a scarab beetle okay yeah it represents Horus the sun god and okay. this same figure mm-hmm. expresses the hope of resurrection in Egyptian mythology okay so that's why I took the inspiration from okay the scarab yeah. beetle it reminds me of the mummy you know, the those, of the mummy. yeah, they move the, the, the mummy. You yeah. know, <laughs> this is this is interesting. Wow. Oh, it's like you've mm-hmm. it. Oh, you the other way around. Can... Okay, no, it's fine. I just wanted to try it on this. this. So it looks good when you wear it. You know, yeah. So this is good. Now, tell us more. Any of the work that you can tell us about the jewelry? This works here. These chains. Mm-hmm. 
you can see the way that design mm -hmm. expresses mm -hmm. something that is rooted in our culture. Just these, wow. not those, these. Okay. When you look at them, mm -hmm. they express some sort of masquerade masks. Okay. The way that designed uh -huh. each mm -hmm. of the chains mm -hmm. is designed in a new, in a unique way. Because I wanted to express our African culture okay. from what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And this is why I did this work. Wow. It's the very reason I worked on this. Mm -hmm. Because Egypt is in Africa, so in this Africa. is expressing African history. Okay. Uh, most of this is expressing Southern African history. Mm -hmm. In the, the mas process. masquerade type, kind yeah. of. The masquerade type of way. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Very detailed. So, uh, for our viewers, and uh, the people out there probably they would love to know what I mean what are you using to make all this exquisite and beautiful kind of work that is coming so fine you know the finishing part looks so fine it looks like it's, you know it's, you've already in an industry you know? <laughs> no all of this artwork is handmade okay only a, a few tools three mm -hmm. three small tools Okay. A small pliers, mm -hmm. that's a small long nose pliers, mm -hmm. small short nose pliers, and a short cutter. Wow. That's all. That's all, all the tools that you use to come up with such yeah. uh, beauty of art. But I won't display them. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. They're mine. They're yours. <laughs> all right. No, that's, that's fine. That's my secret. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, but we, we just wanted, we, you know, it's, this is exciting. Just wanted to people to know and say you can actually come up with such kind of fine finished art creativity just using your hands. Yeah. And just a simple tools. Just simple tools. Okay. Those tools are the extension of my hands. My wow. other fingers. Wow. And I've got some, you know, the rings that you made, they look like they were weaved some, you know. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. these two rings express our culture as well. The okay. way they are designed. Mm -hmm. It's traditional. You can see like the weaved sort okay. of weaved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. The way this knot is tied, mm -hmm. it's all in the form of weaving. Okay. So for me, it's about expressing our culture. Wow. Expressing our belief systems. Okay. Not forgetting our roots, even as we advance in this world. Technology is advancing. Yeah. Like, jewelry comes from a long way. We've got jewelry in, in Egyptian mythology and all that. Oh, that's but enough. Coming to our cultures, mm -hmm. jewelry was not, was not so much expressed. Yeah, yeah. We do have some that was made out of wood, but mm -hmm. not so much expressed. So I wanted to take what is already there, okay, then plant it in what has advanced, and just do what is here. Already. Perfect. So, all right. Uh, it has been interesting getting to know your works, uh, Shadrick. Yeah, and uh, would really love people to at least get in touch with you. They could give you commissions. So, uh, at what price range are you selling the lectures? Uh, the chains without pendants. Mm -hmm. uh, the stuff that's hung on the chain is quite a pendant. Mm -hmm. So, the chains that are without pendants, all of these chains mm -hmm. are going at 150 budget. Okay. Then the ones with pendants, mm -hmm. these are going at... 250 watch. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. So, uh, people like to get in touch with you. Yeah, so at least uh, if you want to get in touch with Shadrick, uh, you can find him at his page. Yeah, my uh, Facebook page, Shadrick Designs. Yeah, so if you even want to get through him, you can still get through me. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah, and uh, just on the the front of the screen, you see my social media platforms, as well as uh, where you can get me. And if you want more about to know more about Shadrick and his design, just hit me up. And please make sure that uh, you when you subscribe to my, my my YouTube channel, yeah, just click on the bell so that whenever you get uh, a notification, you get a notification when you have uploaded a video. Please, uh, Shadrach, thank oh, one, you. One more thing, yeah. I almost forgot. Mm -hmm. Nature. 
we forgot to express nature. Oh, There's the some trees, trees here. some yeah. trees, wow. There's some trees here. There's some trees, some wow, some trees, the nature. You yeah. know, this time we need to, you know, we're expressing a lot of uh, the issues of climate change and stuff. So, we so need the environment to have a lot of trees. This is good. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, this presentation looks so nice. You can just display them here for the audience right. to see them clearly. All right, all right. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Shadrick. You have, your future looks so bright. So, our viewers, thank you so thank you for joining us. And Shadrick, thank you for featuring as our guest artist in my art corner. And uh, I'm very excited uh, to present your jewelry designs as well as the sculptures that you have presented on the show. Uh, I'm most grateful for having me on the show. All right. No, well, I'm sure in the future we will probably get to interview you again, and probably at that time will be uh, at another level, another level, another level. Yeah, it will be beyond by the time you get to interview me. All right. Yeah. Well, that's interesting because <laughs> the work is advancing every day. Okay. Mind's advancing every day. Thoughts are advancing every day. So is everything that man is doing. Yeah, you've gotten uh, all the context from the artist himself. So thank you very much, and please join us in our next show when we come back and present the next artist. So see you.